Hi there everyone, my name's Ali Sherrick um, and I'm here to talk to you about my most favourite book of all time. Now this is for Libraries Week um, and uh, the book I'd like to share with you is actually this one, The Fantastic Wolves of Willoughby Chase by the wonderful author Joan Aiken. And I loved reading Joan Aiken's stories um, when I was young, um, her short stories, also other fantastic books by her, Black Hearts in Battersea and The Nightbirds on the Nantucket. Now, her stories are often set in a time in the past that never really existed. And The Wolves of Willoughby Chase is no exception. It's set during the time of Good King James III, well, if you know your history, you'll know that there's only been two Jameses. So this story is full of history, mystery and adventure. It's the sort of stories that I like writing too. Um, and it's all about young Bonnie and Sylvia, two cousins who are locked up in a big house in the snowy wastes um, with the awful Miss Slycarp, their governess, who's come to teach them, but there's more to her than meets the eye. And the landscape around is full of wild prowling wolves. And I thought I'd just read you a little bit, if that's okay, from the book. So here goes. Right. It was dusk, winter dusk. Snow lay white and shining over the pleated hills and icicles hung from the forest trees. Snow lay piled on the dark road across Willoughby Wold, but from dawn men had been clearing it with brooms and shovels. There were hundreds of them at work, wrapped in sacking because of the bitter cold, and keeping together in groups for fear of the wolves, grown savage and reckless from hunger. Snow lay thick too upon the roof of Willoughby Chase, the great house that stood on an open eminence in the heart of the world. But for all that the Chase looked an inviting home, a warm and welcoming stronghold. Its rosy herringbone brick was bright and well cared for, its numerous turrets and battlements stood up sharp against the sky, and the crenellated balconies corniced with snow each held a golden square of window. The house was all alight within, and the joyous hubbub of its activity contrasted with the sombre sighting of the wind and the hideous howling of the wolves without. <sighs> what happens next? I don't know. You are going to have to borrow the book to find out. Happy Libraries Week. <laughs>